<laughs> yeah. Come on. It's pretty amazing the vibrancy in Latin American cities. Here we are, it's a Sunday afternoon, well, early afternoon in Cuenca, Ecuador. So we're in southern Ecuador. And we're just, we were thinking about walking down to a market and exploring. And, uh, and then also seeing a bunch of the architecture in the old part of the city. But it's also Independence Day. Hoping to see some cultural displays of, you know, dancing, and maybe some, some food vendors, music, all that kind of stuff. Like, they have flying dogs with those dog houses up on the balcony. I don't think even here I can jump that high. Yeah. Hey Mira, come here with me. So I haven't, I have no idea. We haven't really navigated, so we're gonna pick up some, just take a look at the steeples from the cathedral and see if that, if we just follow our nose and see if we can find our way. <laughs> So if you've never been to Ecuador before, people are really friendly with it, but that's how they honk the horns because everyone's on their cell phone. Half these drivers will be looking at their cell phone, watching it, probably watching our channel, watching Mira adventure around the world. <laughs> and, uh, and that's what they're doing when they're supposed to be paying attention driving, right? But it's not too bad. It's, it's less chaotic, it seems like than say Oaxaca, Mexico. The saint who's carrying a broom is sweeping up the city, having a great old time. Everyone's dancing around. Man, oh man, how cool is that? It smells so good in here. I'm in a market. This is the 9th of October, Nueve de Octubre. And we're gonna check it out. Man, this stuff smells so good. So many different products. Oh yeah, all kinds of things. Things that I can identify, things that I can't. No, no. Soy una viajero desde Canadá en bicicleta. Gracias, señora. Que tengas un buen día. So yeah, like well, that's a cool thing. Like just all these vendors are real, you know, small business owners, real nice people. It's cool to see their hands. The woman had her hands stained with the color of some fruit. And that was it's kind of awesome. Usually pretty rough. Hola, buenos días. Hola. Ah, bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? ¿Qué? Um, quiero pancakes, ¿no? ¿De, sí. ¿De qué? Es tortilla de choclo. De choclo. Sí. Y todo lo mismo, es diferente, ¿no? ¿no? Este es de trigo. Este es integral. Ah, trigo y choclo. Sí. Ok. Este ah, de maíz. Ah, ok. ¿Choclo? ¿Qué es choclo? Maíz. El maíz es un tipo de choclo. Es un tipo de choclo. De sí. maíz. Ese es el que tiene. Ah, ok. Ese okay. es maíz. Sí, sí, sí. Pero es tierno. Ah. Esta vuelta ahí es la harina. Ya cuando harina. Oh, ok. Entonces, ¿cuánto sería para una? Unita, 50. 50. Ok, entonces quiero dos y con este. Con el ya. Sí, ok, ya. perfecto. Sí. Ok. ¿Qué es eso? Colada morada. Morada. ¿Con manzana también o qué? Manzana, putilla. Muchas. Piña, tabaco. Okay. Bueno. Gracias. Ah, sí. Muchas gracias. Es para el sabor. Para el sabor. Y la gente venga mucho, mucho. Ya. Yeah. Bueno. Ah, yeah. Perfecto. Gracias. Mm. This is like a sweet pancake from corn. Sweet and a little salty. 
and it's um I can't remember Honduras or Nicaragua. I had some of this. I think Nicaragua. In the morning at breakfast, there was a restaurant. This is all they sold. Basically, versions of this. Ah, sí, gracias, señora. Really quite nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with these pancakes, it's really amazing. Meanwhile, Christy's outside taking care, care of. Um, of Mira. That's the one challenge with dog packing. It's like a beaver outside with a, on the bike, but to bring her inside here is really not not going to be viewed favorably. You know what I mean? Like people get upset. So anyway, I'm gonna finish this up. Head back outside. Cuenca is really a magical city. Dancing. You're dancing, Mira. Ooh, yeah, the dance. Do the Mira dance. Do the Mira dance. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> are you gonna do the Mira dance? Just like you just like Nala. That you're gonna do the Mira dance instead of the Nala stomp? Yes. Oh yes. Isn't that so nice? That's really nice. There's a little bit there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Krista, by the way. She's uh, my business partner in dogpacking.com. You should check it out. Dogpacking doesn't have to be the combination of bike packing with your dog. Links in the in the description, you know, in the below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tiene perros en casa. Sí. Sí. ¿Cuántos perritos en, ca en casa? Yo tengo un gato. Tres perros y tres gatos. Tres gatos y tres perros. Tres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he is muy amigable. Oh, de Canadá. Eh? Hey, Asha. Hey, good. Just got those. Mira, you were a very good girl. Yes, you were. That's the one nice thing. In, well, not the one nice thing. It's one of the nice things about traveling with Mira, a dog. Tracks kids, tracks other dog lovers. It's really lovely to have that kind of interaction with locals. Yeah, it's good girl. Yeah, it's my good girl. Enjoying lunch before we head back to the Airbnb. And I'll probably fly the drone at some point to show you guys what the what this beautiful city looks like from above. Get a sense of the layout. lunch and you can see by the sky behind me the clouds have moved in a little bit early today so the temperature's a little bit cooler which is great for walking are you ready are you ready yeah you are oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness that's the greatest stick the next day i'm kind of outside and kind of indoors mira you're gonna come and help me yeah so this whole video, I'm talking about all the kind of things that I do when I stop at, say, an Airbnb or sometimes at a hotel, but usually those are shorter time periods. So I'm here for more than a week in Cuenca because it's such a beautiful city and I got all kinds of things to do. But so a couple of things I want to show you is Dyneema cord that I've shown to you before. And so I can use it to hold up my bike uh, to my work stand. So I just need a, a pole or a fence and then I just hook it around the saddle like that. And then now the bike, the rear wheel is off the ground and um, the front, you know, the bike was not going to fall over. So basically what I'm saying is I can uh, work on the bike. So what I'm going to do now is uh, change out the uh, rotors. Well, hey, our sweetheart. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So, yeah, I'll get, I'll get to work. I don't need it very often, but uh, I do carry a little bit of grease with me, some silicone glide. I think I picked this up in Mexico, previous to the last time through Mexico, so I've had it for a little while. So 
this is the old one, obviously, from the front. You can see the corrosion. That's from Central America, mostly. 